Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. It's Tutorial Tuesday, and today I have another project for you. Today we're going to make this cute little stuffed bunny rabbit, and there's even a little pocket in front to put some treats. Before I get started, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at debsdays.com for even more sewing and crafting projects. All right, let's get this project started. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for this project you will need two pieces of fabric measuring 8 inches by 11 inches. You'll need one piece of fabric for the pocket measuring 4 and a half inches by 6 inches. You'll need a piece of fabric for the inside part of the ears that measures 3 inches by 3 inches. You'll need some scrap fabrics for the eyes and the whiskers. You'll need an even smaller scrap for the nose. You'll need some paper-backed interfacing. I'm using Heat & Bond Ultra Hold. I'm making these bunny rabbits just for decoration, so they won't get roughed up too much, so I'm okay just using this Ultra Hold and not sewing it down. But if you're giving these bunnies to kids, you might want to use the sewable version of Heat & Bond instead. You'll need a piece of ribbon four and a half inches long. You'll need some fiber fill stuffing. And you'll need the template downloaded from debsdays.com. I've added a link in the description below this video. If you'd prefer a written version of this project, I have it available in my Etsy shop. I have that link down below as well. First, place both of your pieces of fabric with the right sides facing each other. Place your template in the middle of your fabric and go ahead and cut your bunny out. I'm going to go ahead and set mine aside for now. Grab your heat and bond next. We're going to place that on the backs of our fabrics. I've cut my heat and bond out for the bunny ears into that 3x3 three three piece. I need to go ahead and trim off the sides so when I place it on the back side of the bunny ear fabric, it doesn't hang over the sides. Follow the directions on your heat and bond packaging to iron it on. And do that with your eye and whisker fabric and with your nose fabric. While we're waiting for those to cool, go ahead and cut out your ears out of your template and this little chunk right here. Place your bunny ears on your heat and bond, trace around them, and cut them out. Now with the eye fabric, I'm going to place that piece of the template up in the corner and I'm going to trace around the eye. It leaves a little indentation so I can go ahead and cut it out. The eyes are cut out. Now it's time for the whiskers. I have just a little scrap here. I'm not going to measure anything. I'm just going to cut some strips for the whiskers. These may wind up being too wide and I may have to trim them down, but that's okay. And then work on your nose. Peel off the paper backing off of all of your pieces and let's start ironing. Get those insides of the ears, get the eyes in place, the nose in place and the whiskers in place. If your whiskers are bigger than you'd like, you can just trim them on down and get them in place. And iron them all down. Now grab your front pocket piece and fold it in half with the right sides facing out. Press it. Then, along the folded edge, I'm going to stitch my ribbon down. Now here's the time if you use the sewable heat and bond for you to go ahead and secure all of those pieces down. You can use a zigzag stitch, you can use a blanket stitch, you could even use a straight stitch if you'd like. If these bunnies are going to be handled and tussled about, you'll definitely want to add that stitching to secure them even better. When your ribbon's been attached to the top of the pocket and any extra stitching's done on the bunny you'd like, it's time to place the pocket on the front. Place it so the raw edges are along the raw edges of the bottom of the bunny. On top of that, place your other piece of bunny fabric with the right side of the fabric facing down. Pin it together and then stitch all the way around the bunny using a quarter inch seam allowance and leaving a space open for turning at the bottom. All right, I've stitched all the way around, left the space open for turning. Now I need to clip the corners and then clip those inside spaces as well. 
when the corners have been clipped and you've made some notches in those inside quarters, it's time to turn the entire thing right side out. Now it's time to stuff the bunny. I like starting in the ears and then I just work my way on down, fill it as full as you'd like. When it's time to close it, fold the ends under a quarter of an inch and then use a ladder stitch to close it up. It's the stitch we used for those fabric Easter eggs a couple weeks back. And then you have a cute little Easter bunny. Perfect for, well, Easter. And he even has a little pocket for the treats. Remember, I publish new content frequently, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out the blog at devsdays.com for even more sewing and crafting projects. See you next week with another project. Yeah.